And welcome back to another Medieval Dynasty video, everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss passive money-making tips. All right, passive money-making. Now, what I mean by that is you having to put as little time in to doing stuff while passively making money. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things first. This first, or this particular day, I've made 7,376 coins. That is a rough average of what I'm making per day of each day during each season. The amount will change depending on what you're selling. Now, a crucial step number two. You need to do whatever you can early in the game to align yourself so you can unlock the market stall plans so you can set up some market stalls. What these market stalls will allow you to do is assign one worker and select a certain goods type to sell. Now, let me go into detail a little bit closer here. I have six, or no part, uh, yeah, I have six stalls. And you can see I have a, re a food stall, a resource stall, resource stall, is your regular goods, goods that you collect. Say your uh, byproducts from farming, your grains, your seeds, or uh, your, your excavation sheds, like bringing in clay, for example, your woodworking sheds, bringing in logs, sticks, planks, things like that. It's very important that you get these things done Bad timing for the phone, sorry about that. But it's very important that you pay attention to these certain things. Now, we're gonna come back to a couple of things really quick. We know there are a lot of videos out there that talk about money making uh, techniques and tips, and they are all viable, but a lot of those are based early game. And of course, early game, you're gonna have your horse, you're gonna have your additional packs or pouches on yourself, even on your horse. And you're going to be wanting to pay attention to lightweight items because you're going to be going to these villages to sell off these items. Now, we know that uh, there's been a, foco, a, fo a, a focus on the workshop making uh, wooden items, making clay items, say like clay vials. In my case, I make a lot of uh, wine bottles because that's one thing that I set up for uh, selling. It does quite well, wine. And I do that production myself. So you have a little bit of time that you have to put in to doing certain things. The next thing I do is right here, the sewing hut. You come into the sewing hut. Yes, I have workers that do the work in these places, but a really good one in here. See miscellaneous here, how we have bags? Bags, even in early games, sell really well. Now you can see they do require leather, but guess what? Get yourself a hunting shack Get your workers in there. You can have your workers filling you up on leather. So that's another thing I do. Clothing. Bags <coughs> and packs sell really well. Something else. Early game. Even uh, late game, it sells. It does really well. Once you have a mine set up and have your miners extracting, uh, especially iron, you do have the tin and you do have the copper items that you can make, or bronze, pardon me. We'll have copper, bronze. Bronze would be basically copper and tin put together. Then you have iron. Um, I do know that certain tools, iron tools, even copper and bronze tools can sell pretty well as well. But you want to pay attention to the tools and the items you're making as far as their weight goes. This only applies in early game when you're riding back and forth to the different villages to sell off your goods. Now, finally, what I want to discuss is the third one that does really well is the byproducts from farming. See how I'm selling? I have oat grain, rye grain, flax seed selling. I've even got manure selling. I have so much of it. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you are selling your farming byproducts, 
your seeds and your and your grains is do not sell off any excess seeds or grains until your crops have been planted for that particular season. Then, when your crops are all planted, go ahead and get all your remaining seeds and grains listed up and put for sale. But make sure you are managing that particular stall or any particular stall, market stall that you have on a periodic basis. At least set it up each season, the beginning of each season, and then change everything around <clears throat> at the beginning of a new season. Worst thing you could do is get like a low return on your seeds or your grain and let those stay in there and keep selling and then suddenly not have the seeds or the grain for your next planting season whenever that comes up. So these are just some really good tips. Passive money making in the game. I showed you right there what I make. You know, it was over 7,000 coins. That is per day. And one other thing here I want to show you guys comes down here. Now, as we were talking, extraction, because you're going to have, I have four excavation sheds. These are bringing in my clay. I go and I convert my clay to the wine bottles. Then, of course, I grab all the fruit, I go to the tavern, I press and then I go ahead and I make the various wines. The wines sell pretty well, actually. The clothing, different items of clothing sell really well. But the bags and the pouches and whatnot all seem to sell pretty decent amounts of money. So the amount of money you're going to get each season in return from, this, uh, uh, from the uh, market stalls is going to vary based on the intensity of how many items you are selling. But other than that, it is a guaranteed passive money-making thing you can do. It allows you to put your time into working on other crafting, building things up to help increase your uh, villagers' reputation, their mood. Rather than, I mean, just think of all the time you're saving not having to load up whatever you can afford to carry as far as weight, ride to this village, ride to that village, you know, once every day or once a season to sell off what goods you have. And then you're limited by what you can sell based on how much money the actual uh, vendor has on him at the time. So this right here, these stalls take away all that extra time expenditure. It makes the game a lot more worth their time. So as soon as you can, start unlocking the path to get your market stall. Get your market stall. Make sure you got room on your building allowance. It takes one employee to put there. And... There's no particular location that I find does worse or better for these market stalls as far as selling and goods. So other than that, guys, just some uh, points there. How to make passive income in Medieval Dynasty. Wish you guys the best. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything... <coughs> <coughs> Boy, talk about allergies are just bad. It's like 100 degrees here, and it's just humid. Ugh. Okay. I'll see you guys on the next Medieval Dynasty video. Keep safe and peace.